here is the Yamaha H2 prototype. It's basically looking like a um, XTO pretty much. I mean, here is your deal H2 hydrogen engine. It's basically, you know, looks like an looks like a 425 all built up. Hydrogen H2 on the side. Looks like it's got same steering, all that stuff. Again, this is a prototype. I don't know if they've ever even like made anything work or anything like that, but on the side over here, looks like you just kind of got some difference in um, the fuel rail. Look how thick that line is. That is a huge line. Let me kind of brighten this up so we can see that. Looking really good. It's a huge, huge line, probably like half inch, three quarter. Goes up to this pipe here and goes up. So just kind of a difference in the fuel rail. I don't really see much other than that. I don't really see anything as far as um, information goes. We'll go try and find some of that. Here's a boat right next to it. Got a regulator there. So here are the fuel cells for the H2 in the boat. Looks like three whole different tanks. I mean, I don't really know what the exact range is going to be for something like this, but that is a lot of space. Let's see what it says on here. So we got a whole bunch of different tubing in order to move it around there. That's pretty interesting. Different kind of fuel pump, or not fuel pump, some kind of a pump to move everything around. And they've got a compress, I guess that's why it's called CHG for compressed hydrogen gas. Not 100% sure. It's kind of hard to get a good shot of it. You can't get in the boat, but my guess is the CHG right there is going to be compressed hydrogen gas, but I don't really know. So we'll see what it turns out. But those are quite a lot of tanks here. You got three massive tanks. I mean, that takes up a lot in the boat. I do need to go to the back of the boat down there so I can get some, see what's back there. I didn't see what was all back there. Go check that out. So let's see what we got here. It's kind of a distribution center, compressed. Super interesting. So H2 Energy just kind of got a video of talking about it, but let's try and work our way around the booth here. Here we've got an XTO Yamaha 425, just kind of sitting out there. Again, massive engine, 5.6 liter, super nice, looking really, really good. Got some shows over here, 250 and a 150, 640, the VF, VF 150, your stats there, the VF 250. Come over here, see so we got some more displays here. Regular, just the F-115, get the F-90. This is the front booth there. And got another DC-150, DC-200, F-200. Super nice. Ooh, look at this. So here is the electronic steering on this. Digital electric steering, DES. What is this on? This is a new product. This on a 200? It's DES on the 200. That's pretty sweet. I have not seen that yet. Hard to get the glare off of it. Now, 
just kind of got a screen over there with some stuff playing. Here's some of the portable engines. Looks like we got a two and a half. Two and a half. And we got a six horse. Some of the stats there. Got uh was that another five or something? Here's fifteen. There is a twenty-five. There's a nine and a half, nine point nine. Super sweet. There's a bunch of people standing around this engine over here that I would, I want to go check out and see what it is because I don't know why it is colored that way, but I'm going to wait till those people move on so we can go check that out. I wonder what that's all about. Got a whole station here. Try out your components. Helmaster EX. Just some of the designs. You can see how much simpler the wiring is for your EX system. Because everything's electric, there's like way not near as many wires as there was different levels of your ex so you kind of got um your level four which is gonna be the top that's full maneuverability let's go down to the bottom and start talking about here so dec is digital electronic control that's basically this your gauges got a key fob start stop button an ex control box then your digital electronic steering des which is level two so you got your um, digital electric steering and your tilt helm and then your autopilot which comes with all the stuff for your autopilot which is going to be this right here you're going to have heading hold course hold track point steer pattern and then up to the level four full maneuverability which is basically everything i mean you get pretty much everything they've got to offer as far as digital controls go there's nothing out here so let's go ahead and work our way back around to Excuse me, right behind you, buddy. So we've got Bennett trim tab systems. We've got some props over here. Different bill for performance. Here's your XTO prop, huge prop. And then some of the smaller stuff over here. Got your aluminum prop, your talon. So just a couple props back there. Now, I do want to go back and see that engine over here. <laughs> they're, still, they're still hanging out over there. So here we got a smaller engine, so T, T25. But that right there, wait a minute, high thrust, T25, F25, look at that color. I like that color. I do like that. That's sweet. Okay, so now let's move our way through. And back here to the H2 stuff. Again, prototype. There's not a whole lot going on with it. They just kind of like have a prototype here. It just looks like some fuel, fuel rail stuff that's different. Here we've got a. A new 350 so this is the 4.2 liter 350 it pretty much looks identical to your um 4.2 liter but it's a 4.3 liter 250 or 350 got your des electric steering i don't think they come with anything other than that so v6 350 that's the new thing it's a hot thing got some more engines there's 250s over here we got an F90 and an F70. Where's a jacket to a boat? So. Yeah. Some of your stats on there. And then over to some of the other little stuff. Here is another 250 V6. So this is a 4.2 liter opposed to the 4.3. Same thing, 300. I like this one better. It's like a darker gray compared to this. Or maybe it's just the the chrome I mean, it could just be the chrome lettering that makes it look darker and cleaner but I, mean, I think i do like that better with the chrome even though i'm not a big fan the bubble letters like you get fishing line and stuff like that call behind here it'll pull that stuff off so there's that disadvantage to it but other than that more des on here but these are going to be same thing 4.6 liter or 4.2 liter v6s Here's the V8 450. 
5.6 liter. I don't know why that says new product because, I mean, I guess it is new. I guess 425 turned into 450. DES, same thing. Here's all of your stats to it. And then we've got over here, same thing. Here's the new F350. And with our way around, here's some more VMAXs. High thrust, super high thrust VMAX. VF 115s, VMAX shows, super nice. And in here, we've got just some other technical stuff. Probably some siren marine connected boat. Here's just information stat and some information station. This gives you a bunch of information about what's going on. Kind of hard to get that in focus. Here is our mechanical controls. So here's some of the mechanical stuff. Again, always got to have that handle, the trigger on the bottom of the singles. Regular. Here's the EX control box looking good. Here's a bunch of the analog gauges and different stuff like that. Digital, analog, all your classic gauges. Looks Really cool, normal Yamaha stuff. And back around here, again, Siren Connect. Probably got just um, protection, monitoring, stuff like that. Let's see if I can't go over here and hit this white F350. So, here is the white F350, but I'm gonna go over here and take a look at the gray F350 again. Just to close it out, since there's too many people around that one. So here's our engine. I mean, it looks looks normal. I do like the front here on the vent. So that vent right there is going to be your vent for the stator. So that's going to be that vent for your fan. Where that stator cooler is going to be. So that's pretty slick or scoops in air same thing and there's the flush attachment that I did not see over here so in there you've got your flush attachment now so you can add an external flush attachment to like your boat and stuff like that which is something new that they just came out with for the F350 I am 4.3 so this is gonna be pretty much the Yamaha booth. You can see how big it is. It's about the same size as Mercury, a little bit. Pretty much the same size, I mean, it's massive. So you got from over there to the beginning, over here, front and center, the H2 stuff, which is that prototype engine. They don't have a ton of information on it unless you want to kind of watch this little monitor thing here, but not 100% on all the information they got there. But that is going to be the Yamaha booth for Miami Boat Show 2024.